We just moved into our dream house. Um, I think old people <laughs> used to live in our dream house because it has a shower with a built-in seat. <laughs> uh, let me tell you something I've learned about innate human laziness. If you have um, a shower with a built-in seat, you will never stand up to shower again. <laughs> oh, my God, it's comfortable. Here's another little observation I've made. There is nothing whew, like the sight of your lover sitting down on an old person's shower saying, oh! Because <laughs> oh. you know nothing does the male genitalia more favours than being pressed against wet white plastic. Oh. <laughs> Baby, show me it again. Quick, hurry to the bedroom. Quick, before you lose the imprint on the back of your upper thigh. Oh. <laughs> And you, you look, look where it's got me, five months pregnant. So, oh, I've done, it's, all, it's fine, don't pretend to be excited for me. I know you're all childless and how do I know? Because it's a weeknight and <laughs> I know you don't have children, you don't give a shit about children. But I will tell you there are some things you learn about yourself when you become pregnant. Um, I thought that I'd be quite a nutritious pregnant woman. Turns out I'm the pregnant woman that goes, baby wants jam for dinner again. Like, <laughs> really let myself down a little bit. Here's something else you learn. When you're five months pregnant, you learn that there are not enough toilets in the world. So <laughs> I'll be up here another two minutes. Um, my husband is delighted, I'm pleased to say, um, because he has been happily working on his sympathy bump for the last four or five years. And... <laughs> Finally, it all makes sense. <laughs> he is, bless him, he's really excited about having a baby. But here's the thing that's unnerving me. He is really, um, he's really become quite obsessed with how cute Asian babies are. <laughs> yeah, like, like, he's not interested in white kids. He just likes the Asian babies. And I'm just starting to get a little worried that he's going to be a bit disappointed <laughs> when it comes out it's not an Asian baby. Maybe not as disappointed as he'd be if it was an Asian baby. <laughs> I've got concerns about genetics as well, to be honest, though. Something happened last week that has made me... Well, it's made me wonder if I maybe should have done more stringent genetic testing about five months ago. Um, now, I knew that my husband had certain failings and I loved him for them. Like, he's not a romantic man, and this, this is deadly true. He um, proposed to me whilst lying casually back on his bed. So people say, did he go down on one knee? And I'm like, well, he wasn't standing. <laughs> so he's not a romantic man, but I'd always sort of assumed that he was quite smart. He was just hiding it well. <laughs> and last week, this is true. I'm filling in a form for him. And I wrote, his, I wrote it down. I was like, and that's how you spell your middle name, isn't it? Because it's Nathaniel. I was just checking. That's how you spell him. And he went, no. Yes. I'm getting my passport. <laughs> you, you know, OK, there, it is OK to check information on your passport. Here's, what, here's the one thing you're allowed to check using your passport. Your passport number, not your name. <laughs> you're not Jason Bourne. What does it mean for the child? I'll tell you what it means. A three-letter name. That's what it means. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for having me. Have a great night.